Tome, and we're talking about his new album, The Long Haul. Uh, this is his second album. So Griffin, I just wanted to know, um, where where did you come from? This is great. Where, where does Griffin the Tome come from? I come from uh, the very, very deep north woods of uh, Upper Michigan. That's where they hide this great music. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, there's a lot of talented artists, musicians up there. I think it's because we really have nothing else to do because <laughs> it's winter nine months out of the year. <laughs> so what uh, brought you to muggy, sunny Orlando? Winter nine months of the year. <laughs> come down here and... Uh, have summer for nine months instead. No, it's it's great. We love the weather. Uh, my wife and, and daughter uh, and I just uh, you know needed a little change of pace. Uh, we all grew up up north and uh, um, it's beautiful up there. Don't get me wrong. You know, uh, and it, we do like to visit. We head up there in the summertime, but uh, I don't know. Just uh, just a change of pace. Uh, climate. You're the only one, you're not playing with a full band on this CD, are you? Um, the CD is, is full production. Um, I do solo shows, um, kind of unplugged with just an acoustic guitar and myself. Um, How is that, not having the other guys up there? Oh, it's different, you know, um, it was. It took a lot to get used to um, when I first started, but uh, I've played a lot of gigs that way now, so I don't really notice, you know, uh, yeah, too much. Yeah, you it now. It's very intimate, and um, uh, you can tend to have a tendency to connect more with the general audience, basically because you're usually playing smaller venues and uh, you know it's a little more intimate than that. All right, well let's go ahead and uh, take a look at that I suppose. I'm in it by the way. Let's talk a little bit about your inspiration. What inspired you to write this 10 years ago? Uh, well, this particular um, CD, it's funny because uh, most of the songs on here probably, I don't know, I'm going to date myself, but you know, maybe started 15 years ago, some even 20 years ago. And uh, you know, lots of times when I write, I'll just get a chunk of something, maybe a verse, you know, uh, maybe a chorus, and then it just lots of times you know, maybe 50% of the time I don't finish it, you know, at that time. It'll just kind of float around in my brain as a fragment. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, I'll, for some reason, get inspired at whatever point, and I don't know why, and I'll be able to finish it. Sometimes who, I can't. <laughs> who in music inspires you? Uh, man, you know, it's, man, yeah, it's, it's tough to narrow down one person or one artist. Uh, there's so many. Uh, I mean, the reason I started playing guitar in the first place was... Uh, uh, the song Iron Man by Black Sabbath. You know, that just yeah. that riff. I was like, oh, I got it. I need to learn how to play that. So that was the very first riff I learned. You know, and uh, from there I went to my heavy metal, you know, stage, and then, you know, went into uh, classic rock, uh, you know, folk rock, even some country. So it's pretty broad. It's hard to, you know, put a finger on. Still refining it. Yeah, always, always, always. Always, that's great. I mean, my, my own style, I guess, when I write. Um, you know, for myself, uh, solo is, it comes out to be a little, you know, roots rock sounding, uh, a little more, you know, traditional rock and roll. I don't try to follow trends or I just, I just want to write good, you know, good clean, you know, roots rock type. That's what I grab. What do you want your music to be? Do you need, do you want to uh, get that fame or are you trying to change the world? What, what are you trying to do with your music? You know, I just, just get it out of my head. <laughs> I, you know, it, it's just what I do and, you know, it's what I've, done the, you know since I was a kid and uh, you know I basically just uh, it's it's natural uh, you know uh, I guess to somebody who paints or someone who you know uh, is a sculptor it's just you know, it's just my art I just want to get it out get it out of my brain <laughs> in a physical form good. that is good stuff what is next though well um, what comes after the long haul Where I don't know has this long haul taken you yeah I mean it, you know, my first CD, I said, well, I, mean, I might never write another CD again. I mean, maybe, you know, but it seems like uh, I have a process and it, you know, they keep coming out. So as long as songs keep coming out of my brain, I guess I'll keep putting them on a, you know, whatever media is available. Maybe in 10 years, it'll be a, you know, piece of scotch tape looking thing. <laughs> Put it in your tongue. It goes in here. <laughs> Into your brain? <laughs> Wouldn't that be neat? Hey, you heard, I'm that here. That. you heard that here first, so it's patented already. Sound wire. What instruments do you play? <laughs> Uh, well, I play the acoustic guitar, um, I play the bass guitar, um, harmonica, 
And, uh, so with your first album, you, that was a solo one also, back in 2003? Yeah, uh-huh. Right. Yep. And what is that one called? Um, that one's called Turn the Light On. Turn the Light On. Yeah. yeah. So you, you turn the light on and you realize something, they need to take a long time. So it's this somewhere. next one just right. to take nine years to do. Where would you see yourself in five years? In five years? Um, well, hopefully uh, promoting my third solo CD. You know, uh, Wherever that takes it, you know, um, I'm open for whatever. You know, I, I, I don't really, you know, aspire to be, you know, rich and famous. Like I said, it's just it's what I do, and uh, and I, we'll see what happens. Get it out there and see what kind of cool stuff can happen. That's great. Thank you so much, Herman, for joining us today. Thank you. Vanessa. This is the audio release with Vanessa Lee. And uh, all of you need to go out and check out this Griffin Baton. You can find it in the Orlando Park Ave CDs. And you can also go to his website. Uh, you can find him on Facebook. That's Griffin Vitone, B-I-T-T-O-N-E. And you can also go on ReverbNation.com. a picture of a